what's good my people welcome back to another video on aj5 i hope you all are keeping safe once again um don't forget to wear your mask um because i'm wearing mine i'm back here again at the youtube studio another day another video on aj5 so as you can tell by the title i'm going to be reviewing or more like reacting to the bmw i4 um obviously bmw's already got the bmw i3 and the i8 and the i4 is coming next and they've got another one called i next i think but i'm not 100 percent sure on that and obviously the i4 is only getting released um at the end of 2021 maybe early 2022 it's still in production at the moment and yeah so let's get reacting and i'm gonna show you once again if you haven't seen it on the thumbnail this is the bmw i4 and again it's got the ugly grills not a fan of it uh, obviously it's not going to say i4 there there's going to be a number plate but it's got the amazing laser lights the futuristic wheels and this bit here i'm not sure if that's led or what i don't know what's the new car is going to be obviously it's got the led underneath the door handles oh am i seeing this right they've got the they've copied um audi e-tron vehicles with the side mirrors they've got the the ca camera now they don't have the actual mirrors it's not you know a mirror there it's like a little camera all right i've just clocked that now i just saw that now and obviously uh yeah the laser lights just normal stuff and obviously the front uh front grills i hope I hope uh, that they change the front grills. Um, I think this might just be a prototype of how it's going to look like. Hopefully, it doesn't look like that, but you never know. It's BMW. And yes, so that's pretty much the exterior of the BMW i4. Uh, I'm going to go into the interior, and while I load that up, make sure you subscribe. So, let me just load this up, and you can go down and please subscribe and like the video. and yeah let me just get the interior bmw i4 interior and the exterior i mean the car itself starts from about sixty thousand pound i think no way is this the bmw i4 interior guys guys hold up hold up hold that back up so let me show you how the interior looks like this this is my first time seeing it myself i've seen the exterior obviously before but the interior i don't know if they've they've copied mercedes but this is how the interior looks like on the bmw i4 and they got rid of all the key controls on the steering it looks more like you know how you drive a boat or you ride a boat it looks like one of them steering wheels and they've got the emergency button in the middle there oops what happened there yeah so let me switch it this way yeah so they've got that there and obviously you've got like your sat nav cockpit thing there and then you've got your speedo there and it's like a long dashboard basically but it's the whole thing screen and i mean it looks nice it looks it looks very nice i mean i'll buy this myself and it's just that it looks very similar to a mercedes you know how a mercedes would look like obviously they've took to have taken the idea of mercedes and okay this looks nice I've sh I haven't shown you the middle console. I'll show you that now. Also, from now on, I'm going to be giving them giving each car a rating out of ten. So I haven't done that for the past two videos, but from now on, I'm going to do that. And why does my mask keep coming down? I don't know. So let's have a look. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me focus it. That's the center console and. Uh, you can't tell that it's buttons. It looks more of like a 
touch screen button kind of thing it's not like the older cars obviously you've got the i4 little thing there i think it's made of like rose gold i think so you've got the rose gold there and then you've got the rose, rose gold all over the dash and on the steering as well you've got one on the side i think obviously you can select what color you want but i'm loving this obviously you've got the little circle thing to control the monitor there but i'm loving this it looks like it's made out of like glassy crystal kind of thing and then you've got your back button your home button menu button where's the star stop button is it there as well it looks like here it looks like it's there can you see that start stop so obviously on the previous video on the e-tron that we saw it was on the steering and obviously here they've got it like on the middle middle console and they've got like a button there i think that's probably to open up this bit here it looks very nice kind of like it not kind of like it i like it i like it i would buy this myself it starts from sixty thousand. i mean i would buy it myself but i can't afford it so i can't buy it unless you guys subscribe whoa it looks like it's got like a tesla kind of car because look what guys i think I'm in love with this, like, literally, it's got everything, so, one of the reasons I love Mercedes is not because of the in, in, uh, exterior, it's because of the interior dash, it looks very nice, and they've got that in here, Tesla's got the top, you know, glass, sunroof kind of thing, and they've got that on the BMW i4, looking at this picture, look at that, look at that. It looks like a boat more than a car it's got like a boat shaped kind of thing and then you've got the long dash which i really like this looks very nice and obviously look at the top they've got a sunroof what well, i think that's what it's called a sunroof or you know the whole thing is made of glass it is like if you know what i mean like a tesla so they've taken ideas from everyone mercedes tesla and i don't know maybe audi as well but it looks very nice let me get a bird's eye view of the i4 if i can bird's eye view now some next things coming up but bmw i4 interior I, I, i'm more i'm more of an interior person than i mean i'm, I'm both but i, I would also want to see the interior as well more than the exterior just to see how how they've done the car okay there we go there we go this this looks like a tesla more than a bmw when you like look at it from the outside look what i just found guys look what i just found this is doesn't this look like more of a Tesla than a BMW? It's got the whole thing there. It's glass. It's got sun. Look from all the way there to all the way to the back. That's 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 what Tesla's got. The this the back bit looks more of a Lamborghini, the back bit there. That reminds me of a Lamborghini. The top reminds me of a Tesla. The interior reminds me of an Audi and a Mercedes and the steering reminds me of a bloody boat. And what reminds me of a BMW on this car? Nothing really. The whole car looks like they put they've they've got ideas from all the manufa car manufacturers and put it into one, which is the BMW i4. I think. I don't know. I like it. I like it. I love it. I mean, if I had the money, I'd hundred percent. If they if they keep the prototype the same or improve it, I'd hundred percent buy it if I had the money, and um. Yeah, I'm in love with the car. I mean, I'm pretty sure you are as well. So if you go into Google and type in BMW i4 and look through the images, I mean, unless they change it by the end of 2021, early 2022, this car looks amazing. Amazing. Like, I'm telling you, it looks, it looks sick. So the, out of 10, out of 10, time for the rating, out of 10, I'll probably give this car 
a solid solid nine point nine to nine point five just because it's got all the features that I like so the long dash the you know sunroof the glass and it's all the way to the, all the way from the top to the back front to the back sorry and the exterior the ex I can give you about nine yeah nine nine point five because the exterior looks nice but the interior is I'm in love with the, the interior I mean I, I would buy it myself if I had the money so I'm pretty pretty sure you guys would like it as well let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of of this car and um, if you like the interior so we've gone through some images let me know if you if you like the interior or you like the exterior or what you don't like about the car let me know in the comment section down below but overall i love it i'll give this car a 9.5 9 to 9.5 out of 10 and yeah that's pretty much the end of this video and thank you again for youtube for allowing me to borrow their one of their rooms in the headquarters and um everyone keep safe subscribe to my channel wear a mask like this video and i'll see you guys in my next video and hopefully in my next video i'll probably get some food to review as well um not as well but like it's going to be a food review like drinks or sweets or cereal or crisps from different countries uh, leave a comment down below if you guys want to see that or if you want to see something else like reviewing different cars or whatnot but yeah my mask keeps coming down that means the mask is tied i'm tired and go subscribe and go enjoy your day thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace